and Grey Birds, Stella and the Egg Tree by Richard Donward, illustrated by Elias Arahovitis. In Big City, all was not well. King Pig was in a bad mood. And when King Pig was in a bad mood, it was very bad news for all the other pigs. Where are my eggs? King Pig asked Corporal Pig. You must have them for me. Bye now! Corporal Pig went red and looked down. No, said the king. Why not? he yelled. It's those rotten birds, your majesty, explained Corporal Pig. They guard their nest so well day and night. We just can't get to their eggs. King Pig looked furious. Are you telling me that you can steal with one or two silly birds? He yelled. Get out of here and don't come back without my eggs. Later this day, on the other side of Piggy Island, Press, Chuck, Bomb, and the Blues were playing ball. Stella was looking after the egg. The sun was out and it was making Stella feel a little sleepy. Corporal Pig saw his chance. The birds guarding the nest had gone to sleep. The pig strapped all three eggs and made off with them. King Pig was going to be so pleased. Stella was not pleased. The eggs! She cried. They've gone! The other birds came over. The pigs must take them down, said Red. Furiously. What do we do about it? said Chuck. Not we, Chuck, said Stella. She was just as furious as Red. It's up to me to put this things right. I will get our eggs back. No runs and pigs get away. Pig, play a trick on me. There were one or two things that Stella was going to need. First, she pulled up a big then she grabbed an old shower. Without explaining, she set off for the slingshot. The pigs were well on their way back to Big City. When they met a stranger, she was an odd looking old pig in a show. Well, my pigs, she cried, where are you going? Corporal Pig was only too pleased to tell the stranger his good news. We're going back to Big City to see King Pig, he said. We have eggs for him. Three big eggs. I 
I'm sure that if we'll be pleased to, to have the said the old beef, but only three. Is that all? It seems to take on uh, to take only three eggs. Uh, one king beef could have as many as he likes. Corporal Pig looked at the stranger. As many as, but how? She said. The old Pig laughed. I will tell you for a bribe. She said. But we have no way to pay you, said Corporal Pig. You must go to the evergreen F tree says the old pig. There you will be sure to find all the eggs the evergreen egg tree. Well, says Corporal Pig, but where is it? For that you must pay another egg, said the old pig. That seems fair, thought Corporal Pig, and he did so. The tree grows right in the very middle of an easy swamp, said the stranger. That's no good, cries Corporal Pig. We can't get to it there! The old pig laughed again. There is another way, she said. You just grow an evergreen egg tree of your own. The old pig thought something from her shower. This she comes from the evergreen egg tree, she explained. It will grow into another tree. You may have it. For just one more egg. Silly old teens, laughed Stella. As the pigs went on their way with the wheat, she set off for home to find the other birds and tell all about her little trick and to put all three eggs back in the nest. And as for King Pig, well, he was not as pleased with the evergreen egg tree as Corporal Pig thought he would be. The Thank you for watching. Please click the subscribe button for more stories.